I just got off work. It's four or five o'clock in the morning. And when I get off work, I like to go to Coney Island. Coney Island is open 24 seven here in Detroit. And so I go there and I see this guy. He's there every night. Every time I get off work, he's there. He's sitting there minding his business. So I ask him, I say, hey, how's it going? He said, pretty good, crazy hair. Usually see you come here around this time. And he sips coffee and he opens a newspaper. I haven't seen a newspaper in quite some time. I ask him, I say, what you reading? He said, oh, <laughs> crazy Kamala, just nonsense, just seeing this Indian black girl go crazy. Who are you voting for? And I said, I don't really get that much into politics. He said, oh, man, it's not into politics, eh? If you did get into politics, you should vote for Trump. Your people would like him. I said, are you not my people? He said, huh? I said, are you not my people? Are we not both American? Are we both North not humans? Is there some difference between us? He said, no, no, I mean, you know, black people. I said, oh, I'm not black. He said, what? I said, no, I'm not black. I'm actually Japanese. He said, really? You yeah, ethnically, I'm Japanese, but race wise, I am black. He said, what does that mean? Ethnically, you know, my culture is Japanese. I was lying, by the way. I'm not ethnically Japanese. I just want to see what he'd say. He said, oh, okay. Is it, is that like one, well, is that like gender or? No, no, not gender. No, no, no. Not at all. You can be ethnically Japanese, but race black. You could do that. He said, really? So yeah, eth ethnic ethnically, you can be a certain thing. It's the whole thing. And we talked for a little bit about it. And I said, why are we talking about this? He said, what? I said, why are we talking about this? What, what, what would happen if I said I voted for Harris? He said, oh, and you're obviously misled and misguided. I said, why am I misled and misguided? Why? He said, well, because Trump is going to bring America back gonna bring it to the forefront gonna actually get things done you should look at his policies i said i don't want to i don't i don't care the dv about politics it takes a long time for a presidential plan to get implemented so i don't know if he's gonna be able to actually do it he said really all right you know a little bit about politics i said i don't i don't i said it feels like a pointless war he said what i said it feels like a pointless war and I just told him what I'd be holding in for quite some time. I said, you ever think the people at the top are all friends? Harris, Biden, Trump, Vance, all these people, Ben Carson, Shapiro, all these politicians are actually really good friends. And they all have a group chat laughing at all of us. We're donating all this money to them because we think they value our beliefs. But you ever think they just genuinely don't care? He said, what do you mean by that? I said, how much does Kamala Harris make a year? He said, I don't know. I said, how much does Trump make a year? He said, millions. I said, okay, you know that. That's good. That's good. They probably both make millions, right? Probably both get a lot of donations for their campaign. Probably both make a lot of money. Probably make a lot of money. What is their job? To sometimes listen to us and push what they want to do. And to have us argue like this, he said, we're not arguing. No, but if I was voting for Harris, we'd probably be arguing. Or you'd probably try to argue with me. He said, I'd probably try to convince you, but it's hard to convince a liberal. I said, do you see what I mean? He said, no. I said, listen, I'm going to try to break this down for you as simply as possible. Imagine we are starfish. He said, okay, I'm a starfish. It's pretty cool. We're both starfish and we're both swimming along having a good time. But then we're in a tank. We don't know we're in a tank, but we're just, we just know we're starfish. One day, 37 starfish enter the field. 30 of them are white. And you're white, so you go with them. And the seven of them are black. And I'm with the black, so I go with them. We're both still starfish, but we're separated. He said, okay. And the person that's controlling the tank gives the black starfish more food and gives the white starfish less food what do you think will happen he said well white starfish would have to rise up and take from the black starfish and see what's right i said no the starfish should both come together and see that the owner needs to be taken down he said oh okay i see what you mean yeah I had to break it down real kindergarten-like. He said, what does that have to do with us? I said, we're like starfish. 
That's how it feels. Because immediately when you met me, you said something about my race. I never think about race when I meet you. When I, meet you. I never thought about it. Never even considered it. He said, really? I said, no, I never really considered it. You're just an old guy reading newspaper, realistically. But I didn't think much of you. I just wanted to say hello because I see you here all the time. He said, oh, well, I'm glad we're having this conversation. And we talked more and more and more. And what I got from that conversation, the final conclusion of my entire thing was, it's really pointless. I'm never going to be deeply into politics, ever. I'm not going to do that. I'm never going to use this platform here to push an agenda of, right or left i'm not gonna do that i'm really not i'll argue with people on the left and people on the right all day i'll argue with you guys all year if you want but i will never go out of my way and i mean truly out of my way to fight a pointless war where the biggest players laugh at the top we are like sims and they are the player the big one percent even beyond the one percent the people in the upper, upper middle class, the high class people that make so much money that they could buy our entire year salary on a meal. They could spend it on a meal. They could spend it all on a meal. They could do that. They could do that. They could buy five cars right now. You're barely struggling to pay off one. They could do that. Well, if I just work hard, I can do it. This is a broken system somehow. I know what you're going to say. Well, that's capitalism. It encourages competitiveness it encourages it also encourages the manipulation and i'm not a morally ethical ethical person i'm not i'm not morally ethical i'm not i'm really not i'm sick as hell right now i have a horrible headache my head is is pounding my nose is stuffed my back hurts deeply i'm going through a lot right now and i don't have health insurance so i can't even get myself checked i just have this icy patch on my back I have an icy hot patch on my back right now. And that's what I have on my back. I went to work with that. My back is in searing pain. I've just been dealing with it. I got four of those patches littered throughout my back right now. I have a foot brace on. I have a knee brace on. And I don't have health insurance. I just go through the motions and hope that one day this will get better for me. I just hope. I'm just hoping at this point. And I'm trying. I really am. I push out a video. I'll push, 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 push. I'm working hard. I'm trying. And I hope that one day this will change. I hope one day they'll realize at the top that, wait a second, everybody shouldn't suffer. We can make life on earth heaven. Let's all come together for one thing. In the bulk of humanity, we have all not come together for one singular thing. I would enjoy that. We haven't done it. Not once. Not once in our entire little, tiny, disgusting, weak little lives have we all decided, let's all come together for one thing. We haven't done it. We have not. I get sad thinking about the fact that we haven't come together for one thing. I get sad thinking about that small, weird little fact. I get sad so often and so easily because I want more for people as a whole, but people don't want for themselves. People have to strike. They have to shut things down. They have to do all this work just to get a little inch of something, a little inch of nothing, a little taste of freedom just to feel like something. We created this entire country for freedom and now we are oppressing ourselves it feels sad it feels depressing the federal minimum wage is seven dollars and 25 cents why are we why are we still doing this dude why are we still doing this